Hey, all right, this time I'm here to talk all about our manor. So we are on um, our Beartooth manor number three of our Bear 24. And this one, let me look at it real quick. Oh yes, it's about shaking hands. So when you meet somebody new, you should shake their hand. Now, sometimes it's not even about meeting somebody new. It's just every time you see somebody again, you shake hands. Or every time, if you haven't seen that person in a while, you get up and shake hands. It's just a good thing to do because it connects us when we, when we shake hands or when we touch. It connects us in a way that just says, hey, I see you. I'm glad to see you. So happy you're here. So when you shake hands, and I'm going to have to do this kind of backwards because I don't have a second person, but... Um, I'm gonna pretend like this is somebody else's hand and they would reach around and grab my hand like this. But notice our thumbs hook right here, right in that we call this the webbing of your, of your hand. So the webbing of my hand here would have to go to the webbing of their hand and I would go here and then reach around. I don't grab their fingers and I don't go up here and grab their thumb. This is like the bro shake, we're not doing, a, we're not bros. We go here and then you reach around their hand. You try to get your fingers down underneath. Now, for some of our younger students, you can't reach all the way down, that's okay. But you can reach here and you can still get on my hand right here, right? You, even though you can't get under, you can get on my hand here and then you just give it a good squeeze. And you squeeze back as hard as the other person squeezes. So you have to gauge how hard the other person is doing it and you match that firmness. But we wanna make sure it's a firm handshake. We don't wanna really lose handshake with our wrist that's doing like this kind of a thing. You want it firm and you want to grab and you want to shake. Okay, and then you let go. It's just a couple of, a couple of shakes real quick. Um, and you say, hello, nice to see you, good morning. Hey, how are you? Whatever it may be. But we want to have a firm handshake. We want to look the person in the eye and then have some kind of a greeting or something we say, some kind of a, a hello, right? So that is our third manner. When meeting somebody new, you always shake their hand when it's somebody new. And then even just from time to time, all my buddies, all my friends, when I see them, I go shake hands. I was at the soccer game last night and went up to one of the principals at Skyview and I had just seen him at 3.30 for another meeting, went up and shook his hand um, and said, hey, how are you? Good to see you again. Uh, that's, just, that's just what we do. So it's a good thing. It shows people that you are connecting. It shows them that you see them. It shows them that you care. It's just a different level again, almost like saying, sir or ma'am, it takes you from here and puts you up here so we want our bearers to do that all the time. So work on your handshake this week. That's one thing we're going to try to work on in our den meetings later today. And I hope you have an awesome day. Now, I have one more thing I need to talk about. So teachers, you can pause this and come back here in just a little bit. This one's going to be about the lunchroom and we need your help. So students, we are not doing well in the lunchroom. We are leaving huge messes behind. We are not cleaning up our areas. We are not speaking with a three-foot voice. We're really not following any of the things that you've talked about in your classroom or that we've even talked about in the gym. So teachers, um, if we can't get this figured out, we're gonna ask you to assign seats and kids will not be able to sit where they want. They will have assigned seats they sit in and we will um, ask you for those, whether they're alphabetical, whatever. So that way we know who's leaving the mess because we, it is, it is so bad. Um, uh, let's see. So. Boys and girls, we're going to go to a one, two, three system. And teachers, if you can help us with that. So when it is time to go, after we've got on the microphone, ask you to clean up. That means you need to take your tray and put it under the table and wipe all the crumbs onto your tray. That's going to be number one. And that's just gathering your things. So when the, somebody stands at the front of your table, they're going to hold up a number one which means you need to start gathering your things. So if you have a lunch from home, you take all of your Ziploc baggies, put them back in your cold lunch bag or your um, container, whatever you've got, lunch box. You put everything back in there and it's time to start wrapping up. Number two, if we give you this, the number, after we see everything's been picked up off the table, we're gonna give you a two, which means to stand up. And now you check down below, down on the floor. And you wipe off your bench, you pick up the bigger things on the floor. I don't expect you to pick up a little piece of cheese that's super small. Um, but if there's a cracker down there, if there's a bag down there, if there's something else down there, teachers, we have had an entire bag of Doritos left down there. We've had a whole banana peel. Yesterday, um, I believe it was fifth graders, I found a Diet Mountain Dew or a Mountain Dew, or not Mountain Dew, sorry, Dr. Pepper can that was squished on the floor and left. Not excusable at all. No reason for it. So you're going to start picking that stuff up. And that time is either gonna come from your recess time outside, whatever it is, but number two means you stand up and you check the floor and the benches and get that cleaned up. And then number three means your whole table may go. And we're gonna do this for a whole table to start. And if that doesn't take care of it, then we're gonna do it student by student one at a time.
Imagine how long that's going to take for 60 kids. If we take 10 seconds per student, that's, that's going to take a long time. You're going to be there for at least another six minutes, if not more. And that's your recess time you're losing. So we need your help. Now, we're not going to assign seats yet. But if this doesn't handle it, then we will go to assigned seats in every grade level, K-5. Um, and we will really slow this down to make sure you're not leaving such a mess. Because it is disrespectful, it's rude, and it's really starting to be almost feeling like you're just purposely being mean. Um, and it's really starting to frustrate our ladies in there. And yesterday, I was frustrated because it was just two of us in there. We didn't have somebody else to help. Um, and it, it, was, it was really bad. So teachers, please help us talk to your kiddos about what that needs to look like. Um, what their expectation is as far as, and please go over it in your matrix in your classrooms with a three foot voice. And honestly, it might even be something we need to bring every class down in and practice because we got so far behind yesterday from trying to get kids to clean up their messes and they were just trying to leave and not clean up their messes. So um, we're asking for your help and students were also asking for your help. So take care of your business. That's part of our manners is making sure you clean up your area every time before you leave. You do it in the classroom. And teachers, maybe if you can practice in your classroom a little bit too, one is to put your pencils away and get everything put away, get your computer put back in your desk or whatever your iPad put back in. Two is to stand up and push in your chair and make sure nothing's on the floor. And then three means you head to your line. Same thing in the lunchroom. One, gather your things to put in your lunchbox, get it on your tray, clean up all the little messes. Two, stand up, check your floor space and your, and your bench. And then number three is gonna be to head out to, the, um, to go dump your tray and then line up to go out for recess. So we appreciate your help. Boys and girls, please help us with this, all right? I do not want to sign seats in the lunchroom. I love that you can just spend time with your friends, but you've got to do it the right way. All right, thank you so much. We'll see you at lunch.